Hey guys, it's Chrono Fury, and today I'm bringing you the news that Dream has responded to those speedrunning allegations from such a long time ago. He has finally spoken out about it, and here's the best part, guys. He actually admitted that he did cheat, though I would like to frame it before all the um, Dream stands just like this video, that it was unintentional on his part. At least that's what he claims, that it was unintentional that he had certain mods installed. But let's take a look at his whole statement here. And if you're new to the channel, of course, don't forget to drop a like on the video, consider subscribing, and let's get right into Dream's actual post about this incident. So as of 10 minutes ago, he posted about speedrunning and he linked it to the paste bin here. And if you click on it, it'll bring you to this page, which I have already scanned through briefly. And like I said, in summary, he did actually cheat. Okay, so I guess to some extent, those mods that exposed him, they were correct, okay? Because he did actually cheat, which is, I guess, kind of surprising. All right, so let's actually take a look at the post in full. So if you click the link here on his official Twitter account, I just... so here's the part uh, that you guys are looking for. So back in October, November, I, for the first time, 1.16, tried to speed run 1.16, okay? And then he just wanted to get a time faster than that, all right? Nothing too uh, interesting yet. Then he got a 19 minute time after practicing, okay? And then he provided all the information he could because there were some suspicions being raised as to whether he was doing it legitimately. Okay, so then next up, he was starting to grow more frustrated. And I think then you had all those exposed videos coming out during that time that he was speed running. And of course, he claimed he was being targeted due to the fact that he was a YouTuber, which come on guys, we don't actually, people don't actually target YouTubers, at least not Minecraft YouTubers for these kinds of things, okay? If speedrunning allegations were made, it is definitely up to that YouTuber to prove that it is false. I mean, if you want to restore your reputation, right? Then you should definitely do so. And yeah, uh, Dream admitted that he wasn't exactly, uh, he didn't exactly handle the situation well. And he did the response video, if you guys remember. Okay, so this was the part where that viral video was released, which exposed Dream. And the next part, again, he lashed out. And he tweeted about the mods being cloud chasers. And I definitely remember this part, guys. Because I remember seeing the tweet and it did kind of bother me a bit. I think it did kind of hurt Dream's reputation as well. Because, I mean, the mod, I mean, the channel that it was uploaded on already had like 100,000 subscribers. They didn't need to expose Dream for fame or anything because technically the channel was already kind of big to begin with, right? Yeah, so it's really disappointing, you know, seeing Dream's attitude. I lost a bit of respect for him that day. And then he hired the professional statistician. And then he made a video about it, showed the professor's views. The mods came back with a response, correcting the professor, you know, implying that he was wrong. And then after that, when he, when Dream went to the professor, the professor actually admitted that he made several mistakes. So it was really a lot of back and forth and a lot of mistakes were made on each side. And Dream came out of the situation looking really bad, unfortunately. Okay, so this is the part that you guys are probably most interested in. And I'm sorry if this video seems a bit hastily put together. That's because it really is. Because I want to get this news out as soon as possible. So... He never explored, aka Dream never explored the option that he possibly did cheat because he believed he was honest, you know, maybe he didn't cheat. He knows and he convinces himself that he didn't cheat. But actually he did, guys. He did. So he found out that he had been using a disallowed mod. That's right. He had a Minecraft mod installed during several of his live streams. And he claimed uh, that this was due to a developer who was coding mods and... So it was here where he explained that Enderman spawn rates and pearl drop rates were actually adjusted. Okay, and then he thought it wasn't a problem at the time. So then he realized that he did indeed cheat, you know, unintentionally, of course. He claimed and he shifted the blame to the developer who was coding uh, the mods. Okay, so he claimed that he, so Dream felt an extreme sense of guilt, took down his response video, and he felt really terrible for the mods, which honestly he should because... I mean, not to defend the mods because I'm really kind of a neutral party here. You guys know that I've made videos about Dream reacting to Dream's uh, content in the past, such as his first song, Road Trip, featuring PM Bata. I did a reaction video of that, and it was a positive reaction video. I thought it was legitimately a good song. Uh, even though I didn't do a reaction for his new song, Mask, I thought it was a pretty good song with a pretty cool concept as well. 
But yeah, I mean, this whole situation has just been a mess for both sides. The mods got dragged, got cancelled, right? And Dream himself got a lot of hate and he came out of the situation looking really, really bad. Yeah, so this is the whole situation in a nutshell. Dream is apologizing here, kind of. So basically, Dream wants to move on from this, okay? So I hope this gives insight into my mindset a little bit. I'm sure I'll talk about it for clarity's sake, but I want to avoid causing more drama. Please don't send any hate to the mod team. So at least, you know, Dream admits that he is in the wrong, even though, yes, I know it's unintentional, but still, it is still considered as cheating, which means that the mods who exposed him got a lot of unnecessary hate, right? So that's basically, in a nutshell, what this video is. I will leave the link to this tweet where you can find all the information that you need that we discussed here in today's video in the video description down below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of the entire situation down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you guys. But that's basically it, guys. I'm really shocked to read this because it seemingly came out of the blue. I mean, the speedrun situation was like ages ago, right? And then people stopped talking about it. But it looks like Dream, I think, I guess the guilt finally got to him. And he had to finally admit that he did indeed cheat. Yeah. And like I said, it's a shame for both sides because Dream got a lot of uh, hate. And the mods and the, the channel that uploaded that exposed video got a lot of hate as well. Which was unwarranted since they were technically in the right. But anyway, this situation is over. But like I said, I'm interested to hear you guys' thoughts. And I will see you guys in the next Minecraft video.